Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Chaos Child, and I, my voice is just, it was bad the last couple episodes, it's worse now, um, it's gonna be bad for the next so many, look, I don't know why I keep apologizing for it, like, it is what it is, um, but it will be like this for the next few episodes, because I have honestly recorded 20 hours worth of shit in the last four days, <clears throat> three days actually um so yeah obviously i can't talk this much without breaking my voice but i kind of wanted i have time i i want to get stuff done so it's either i don't do anything and i i'm way ahead but i kind of want to stay ahead so it's either i don't record anything and I sit here with my thumb up my ass doing nothing, or I record, and you have to suffer with shitty voice acting. But you have to suffer suffer with shitty voice acting anyway. So now it's just shitty voice acting while I'm losing my voice. It's fine. It is what it is. I feel like that's happened a lot during this playthrough, during this game. I don't know. And <laughs> maybe it's just like five freaking years of doing Atome games. God, is it? it's probably been longer than that. I don't know. Um, and doing terrible voice acting. So, here we go. Anyway, so there you go. It's gonna be bad. None of the voices are gonna sound right. Um, I don't sound right. It's gonna be like that probably for the rest of Hanai's route at any rate, because I'm gonna record a couple episodes from now. I I'm hoping I can finish hers today. Um, I think we only have a couple hours left, because I tried to look up, like, how long... It was, and I did see that there was something out there that I think the her bad ending took like four hours. But I'm assuming that's not with the stop and we talk and like, you know, whatever. But I've got about an hour down, so I'm thinking we have at least three hours. Probably four, maybe, if we then skip through and do the good ending. I don't know. Maybe five. We'll see. If it takes three to four hours, I can probably do it today. Five might be pushing it. We'll see. But anyway, we might be getting most of it done today, so you'll be listening to this. But even if I recorded a part a day for the next... I'm still going to sound like this. It's going to take a long time for my voice to come back. Especially because I don't stop talking. I mean playing this or the fact that I have to talk at work. So, yeah. Anyway, four days had passed since we'd been attacked by Rico Haida. But there had been no developments in the case. So, what do we do now? now or now what do we do? Whatever. Yawn. Oh, I can't really yawn because it hurts a little. No wonder if I was getting sick because my fucking ear hurts too. But like, I, there's no way I could get sick. I don't leave my house. So like, how would I have gotten sick? Nobody comes in my house. I don't leave my house. I haven't been anywhere near people. And like, I'm not sure when. So anyway. Hey, are you listening to me, Ashido? I'm listening. We're talking about the newspaper club's next move, right? Sheesh. If you're listening, then say something. You're just staring out the window and yawning like you're bored. I was bored. It had been a month and a half since the don't look at me case. So much had happened and then everything had suddenly come to a halt. I wasn't sure how to handle all this peace and quiet. Part of me was hoping that there'd be some new development. Part of me was thinking that maybe this was just how it was going to come to an end. Well... You've got your promise with the Empress. Maybe there's not much you can do about it. That's not it. Just with nothing happening, there's nothing we can do. In fact, the whole madness with the sumo stickers were starting to recede as well. According to Serica, all the stickers that had been covering the city had been removed when she'd gone into town yesterday. The government must have taken them down or something. Since just seeing them was enough to make me sick, I was pretty glad, but... Hmm, that's... I looked out at the window and saw an unusual pairing. What's up? Nothing. Oh, huh. That's Artie Murna and Kazuki. I was just thinking that's pretty unusual. Hmm, yeah, that's true. But you remember what happened, right? Where Artie Murna got Kazuki to actually... <clears throat> when Kazuki had talked, huh? You know, that surprised me too. It had never happened before, after all. Yeah, I've heard her laugh, but I never heard her talk before that. 
Arnimura and Kazuki were talking happily, but from here I couldn't hear what they were saying. And from the look of it, Arnimura was doing all the talking and Kazuki was just shaking and nodding her head. But she didn't seem upset or bothered at all. No, because she's a good little bean. <laughs> Come to think of it, you've been getting along well with Arnimura lately too. Huh? What was he talking about? Don't try and fool me. I heard you two were having a great time talking to each other after school. Sarika must have told him. God, where did she get these ideas? We're not really friends. Artemira's just, you know, she's kind of the same as me, right? So we can get along. That's all there is to it. What? Well, that's a waste. What do you mean it's a waste? You don't know. Artemira's actually pretty popular. Popular? You mean guys like her? I mean, just look at her. She's pretty cute, and she'd, she's the type of person who can get along with anybody. She'd the type of person that she's. Okay, okay Ido. It's not the right anyway, typo there. That's because of her power. That doesn't matter. Nobody knows about it. What matters is how they see it. That made sense, maybe. Anemura was just trying to avoid making enemies. But on the other hand, that meant making friends. You really are dense about this stuff, though. I don't know where you get off calling people wrongsiders. Listen, Ito, since you seem to be misunderstanding this, I'll give you a lecture. <laughs> why do we have any friends? I understand why we have Sarek as a friend. We invented her to be, like, a friend. But how do we have any other friends when we're constantly like, I'm just smarter than you and better than you, and let me give you a lecture. Why, why is Ito our friend? You know... Every time we open our mouth to this man, I understand why he wanted to stab us. <laughs> like, I mean, I know he was mind-controlled, but I can't 100% blame him. I can blame him for killing Yui. That was wrong. But, like, wanting to kill us? Can't 100%. I don't think it would have taken much persuasion. They would have been like, so Miyashiro's kind of a dick, and you... Yeah, you're right, I should stab him. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, I love our character. Like, you gotta, like, I like a character that's not, like, perfect. You know what I mean? We are not perfect. We are kind of a dick. And it makes it amusing, but, like, I still don't know how we have friends. I'm, I'm happy we have friends. We have so many good friends, but, like, why? You know, you really are into, you know what? No, you know what? I get it. Uh, never mind. I forgot. Spacey forgot. I totally forgot all of the kink shaming we were doing to Ito before. We're like, you you like getting stepped on, huh? You have BDSM kinks. You, yeah? You like you like that shit? Yeah, uh-huh. A little bit of a masochist there? Yeah, this is why you're friends with us. Because we satisfy your kink a little bit. He's like, I like it when you talk down to me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Just so we're clear, who's popular and who's dating who are minor pieces of information that are only valuable within the small community of Hekio Academy. Knowing those facts doesn't make you a true right-sider, and it certainly doesn't give you the ability to determine larger truths. All it does is make you the best friend in a visual novel. Wow. Calling it like it is. Who are you calling the best friend in a visual novel? You was just so fucking true. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Game, you're funny. What you just said is exactly what the character always says. Or that character always says. Hmm. Come to think of it, you might be right. Come on. Don't let something that doesn't matter get you down. Class is starting. Oh, shit. I forgot to turn my headset down. And I'm like, it's fuzzy. Ido looked really depressed for some reason. I tried to cheer him up and look back out the window. Artemura and Kazuki were gone. Taku, is the club meeting today? Oh, I can't do her voice at all. Sarika came by as soon as school was over. Hmm, there's not much to do, but I was thinking of at least going to the club room. Anyway, you got here quick. Huh? Oh yeah, class ended early today. Huh, well whatever. Anyway, let's get going. Ciao! Now it was Ari Murr's turn to barge in. She opened the door as energetic as ever. At the same time, the whole class started to stir. Hey, that's Hinai Arnamura from the second year class. You're right, I love girls like her. She just looks so happy all the time. 
Wait, what you doing in our class? <clears> hmm, <throat> Yashiro is... Oh, there you are. Her voice is a little easier to do because she's not as high pitch, but she's definitely not as high pitch as she normally is right now. Everyone was surprised to see her walk straight over to me. Huh? You're kidding me. What you doing with a guy like Miyashiro? Hey, some of us have a glasses kink, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> but in reality, you'd be like, hmm, he's cute, he's got glasses, like whatever, and then he'd open his mouth and you'd be like, and I'm out. We have a very bad person. Our party is good. Deep down inside. You talk, talk, unless it's the douchebag we, we pretty. Okay. Only open our deep, deep, deep down. We're not, not a bad, bad, bad person. We just have a very, very bad exterior we present to people. You know? And, and, and it's only because we keep insisting that we're special, and everybody tells us we're not, and we're just really free because, yes, and then we're really special, special. And if people just let us be special, we wouldn't been such a bitch about it. All I'm saying. Anyway, what Ido had been saying, I could feel all the boys in the class. Kind of made me feel so, 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 so. Oh, here too. I can't even get close. At some point, Sarah could start copying Artimer's greeting. So, what brings you here? Oh, geez. You know, there's only one reason I'd come here. One reason. To kill me. I feel like the, uh... To eat you. Oh, hi. Sexy. Um, sorry. I did turn down the... I want to go back here for a second. I, I turned this, the sound effects kind of up a little bit. But, like, I don't hear them. I don't know if you hear... Whoops. Hold on. Turn them up a little bit because, like, I turned the bass game volume and the music... That's probably why the bass game volume... Hold on. It's just... No, I mean, that sounds pretty loud when you get to it. It's just... The bass game volume... If I keep it on, then you get too much of the music in the background, which gets copyright flagged constantly, and it's just... I just... I mean, I think that's kind of... Well, I'm going to leave it low, but... It's just, I, even though I'm not listening through my headset, like, I want you to be able to hear things, but I've just, I've been fucking with the sound for, like, the last 40 fucking hours because it was too loud initially, and we get copyright flight constantly, so I turned it down in my recording software, but, like, now that I'm recording another game, I can't keep going back and forth. I'm going to keep forgetting to switch back and forth. So I'm like, let me turn the volume in the game down a little bit, just the music. But then you can't, I don't know. So I'm sorry that everything's kind of fucked up in this one, but. Like right now there is, mu you can't even see anything moving on the thing. I'm not sure if there is music in the background. I can't hear it on my TV, but hold on. I don't think there really is. I can't hear it anyway. It's just the music that gets flagged. So I just want to keep that background music low, even though it kind of sucks, but we talk through it. It's not like we really need it for ambiance, but we need the sound effects. You know what I mean? But I don't know. They're always hard to hear anyway. And I was just like, duh, turn the sound effects up. I don't know. <sighs> this is just a big fail of a whole... I just... <laughs> I need to take a break from games, just in general. Like, just need to be like, I need to take, like, a month off. Just not record a damn thing. Don't do anything because I can't do this anymore. Not in a bad way. It's just, I'm clearly failing at everything right now. Oh, my God. But I don't want to. I have fun, so. Anyway. To eat you. Anyway. Huh? Okay, that you could hear. Oh, God, yeah, that you can hear. Oh, good Lord. That's loud. Suddenly, Artimer's expression changed. No, it wasn't just her expression. Her voice? Her whole personality? Oh. What's wrong on? What's going on? What happened, Artimer? 
What are you talking about, Miyashiro? Did you not notice? You're the only living person in this school. What was she talking about? <clears throat> I was the only living person in the school? That's impossible. Okay, the sound effects definitely are loud. Taku, I'm hungry. That is extremely loud. I might have to turn it down now, but I'll check after this one. Buddy. Let me eat your soft guts. Oh, no, wait. Kurusu, it's gotten into you guys. It was only then that I realized that every person in the classroom was looking at me. I mean, yes, they are. No, they weren't people any longer. Their skin was the color of clay and hanging off their bodies. There was no life in their clouded eyes. I might be regretting turning the sound effects up. It's so gross right now. Some of them didn't even have eyes. Something white was dripping out of their empty sockets. When it fell to the floor, it wriggled. Ugh! It was maggots. Gross! Maggots had fallen out of their high sockets and landed on the floor. Hope you weren't eating. By the way. Uh, uh, one took a step or two forward, and even that small impact was enough for his arm to snap off and fall to the floor. But the living dead didn't care. Slowly, one step at a time, they got closer to me. Some of them were dragging something rope-like behind them. I looked I look closer and saw that it was their intestines. You knew that was coming. They were dragging their guts along the floor as they walked. I mean, that's creepy, fucking Sarah. Taku. I was surrounded by an army of corpses. <laughs> the stench was enough to make me vomit on the spot. Why is it Taguru instead of Takuru? <laughs> Takudu. <laughs> Taguru. <laughs> That's a big typo, wow. I looked up and saw that Arimura and Kurusu were staring down at me with lifeless eyes. <laughs> uh, Miyashiro? Uh, I shoved my hands forward and felt something slippery on my palms. My hands had broken the skin on Arimura's arms, revealing the yellow, fat, and rotting flesh beneath. Arimura stared at her ripped arm and slowly laughed. <laughs> That tickles me, as you know. She opened her mouth wide and went for my neck. Look at... Look at Caruso's happy fucking mouth. It's so goddamn comical and ridiculous right now. <sighs> no, that wasn't going to happen. Me, as you know, are you listening? Huh? Oh, yeah, I was asking what you were doing here. I was wondering whether there'd been any news. Huh? Oh, no, not really. Oh, dear. I see. That's too bad. Huh? But aren't you going to the club room now? Mm, well, I was planning on it. Why not invite Hina, then? Huh? You'll be bored by yourself, won't you? By myself? You're not coming, Onoe? I'm, uh... I remembered I got somewhere to be. Good, because I can't do your voice right now. I see. By the way, Mon's busy with the student council, and Shin says he's got something to do today. Come to think of it, the two of them had disappeared. So, Hina, take care of Taku for me today. Bye-bye! Huh? Uh, Sari? <laughs> Sarika left the room before anyone could stop her. What was she doing here? Just me and Artie Murrow were left. You don't have to worry about what Anoe said. <laughs> what? Did you forget about my power, Miyashiro? What was she talking about? That sounded so nasally right there. What the fuck was that? Well, you'd probably be lonely there by yourself. I guess I can come too. W wait, I wouldn't be lonely. And I didn't ask you to come. Or did I actually think I'd be lonely there by myself? No, but that's... Right, right. I get it. Okay, let's go. Arimura wrapped her arm around mine and dragged me out of the classroom before I could protest any further. Seeing the jealousy in other boys' eyes made me feel kind of good. Huh. But aren't you going to the club room now? When I got to the club room, I was surprised to see that someone was already there. You were surprised to see Kazuki? I figured that's her permanent spot. She doesn't go to class. Girl just sits there all day. 
I'm pretty sure Kazuki isn't an actual person. She's just a piece of furniture that we talk to. Because we might that might be a part of our delusion. I'm just saying. Oh, Hana, you're here. <clears throat> Kazuki was playing her game like always. When she saw us, she nodded slightly. What are you up to? ESO2 again? Mm. I can't even mm anymore. Is ESO2 really that fun? Mmm. I see. Maybe I'll give it a try. W wait, you're kidding me. Kazuki smiled. I'd seen her laugh when she found something funny on the night we'd stayed over for the school festival, but I'd never seen her smile so happily. Actually, she'd been talking to Artie Murray yesterday, too. H hey, when did you two get so close? When? You know the answer to that, right? Just recently. We got to talking and realized that we really got along, right? Mmm. <clears throat> I have to mmm really loud because I can't mmm normally because my throat's busted. So I'm sorry. Every well, look, everything sounds awful. I don't know why I keep apologizing. I apologized in the very beginning that everything was going to sound awful. <laughs> Maybe since Kazuki didn't talk, it was easier for them to get along. Maybe they made a pretty good pair. Yeah, because Kazuki doesn't lie because she doesn't say anything. So what do you guys usually talk about? Nothing special. What happened at school or our private lives, our pasts. Hmm. It looked like Artie Murr's expression clouded for a second. Well, does it really matter? Let's talk about the case. I got a call from that detective last night. Did he find something new? Nothing. The police are really useless when it counts, aren't they? I see. From what Shinjo had told Aremura, the underground facility at A.H. Tokyo General had totally disappeared. That in itself was a big development, but it also meant that all our clues were gone. And then there was that Yuki Yamazoe girl. They were looking after her at that Frisia place, but all she did was cry. They couldn't get any information out of her or even get her to explain who she was. <laughs> Since Aremura had brought it up, I was hoping there'd be some new development, but I felt a little let down. But that doesn't mean it's a good idea to start looking around on your own, Miyashiro. And your power? You weren't using it, are you? You don't need to tell me that. Things were calming down, and we hadn't been attacked since then. But that didn't mean the case was over. Hmm, looks like you're telling the truth. I'll give you a pat on the head. I knocked Arnimura's hand away. Stop it. I mean, no point in lying over something like this. But I figured I had to bring it up anyway. I don't want that happening to anyone else I know. By that, she was probably referring to Kakita. Kakita was investigating the gigalomaniacs, she'd said. He'd suspected that some huge organization was involved, but whether they were responsible for the crimes or if it was all that Rico Haida person, I didn't know. Either way, it was probably a good idea not to do anything until I knew. Anyway, shouldn't you give us a way to get a hold of you? Without a phone, if something happens, I won't be able to get a hold of you. We're in this together, right? In this together, huh? Hmm, what's wrong? N nothing, but yeah, you're right. I do need to get one soon. I couldn't stay without a phone forever. Without one, I couldn't call for help if I needed it. All right, let's go shopping. On Sunday, it's settled. Huh? Well, you don't just get to decide that. And why Sunday? Because it'll be a good way to relax and it'll be fun, right? It's so funny because, like, she's always like, oh, my God, you're not going to try to hit on me, you pervert. Wow. Ew, gross. And yet she's always like, I'm going to pat you on the head. We should go shopping. Let's go do this. It's like, you're hitting on me. Like, I mean, yes, there are people like, yeah, no, we should crack up cool, like, as friends. But, like, she's being so super cute about it. Like, I just feel like she's flirting with me. And we are totally oblivious. It's like, don't touch me. God, weird fucking. And she's like, idiot. <laughs> Any other guy, if she was like, I'm going to pat you on the head and be like, okay. Uh, like, we are really dumb. I kind of love us for that, though. You know what I mean? Also, I identify with that. Because if someone was flirting with me, I'd be totally fucking clueless about it. They could literally... it would have They would have to have a neon sign that said, I am flirting with you. And I'd still be like, so, like, does that sign mean you're flirting with me? Or did you just leave that on and it's for someone else? Like, can we... Like, are you sure? Like, still wouldn't get it. They could fax me a memo, and I'm not 100% sure it would come through. All I'm saying. Fun? Wait, are you coming too? 
I need to relax once in a while, you know? Why not go with your friends, then? If by friends, you mean the girls I hang out with all the time, then absolutely not. Why? It's not fun. Yeah, it probably wasn't a lot of fun if you knew when the people you were talking to were lying to you. Hmm, wait. Does that mean that if you're with me, it's fun? Y you know, you know about my power. That actually makes things a lot easier on me. Like, wait, you have fun with me? See? We're totally clueless. Hmm, she was right. Couldn't lie if I knew she could tell when I was doing it. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to keep it up. That was exactly how I was acting around her right now. But didn't that mean that she could have fun with anybody who knew about her power? And then why don't we invite Onoe? Suddenly, I felt a light impact on the back of my head. Ow! Yeah, we're clueless. I love it. I turned around and saw that Kazuki had given me a chop on the back of the head. Hey, what was that for? Oh, so that's it. I get it. You want to come too, right, Kazuki? She's like, no, idiot. Look at her pissed face. Ow, ow! What was going on? It's because we're an idiot and she just wants to spend time alone with us. And we're like, so you're telling me not to invite Onoe? It'd be easier if you used your words, Kazuki, instead of your fists. I don't speak head chops. Okay, maybe Kurusu or Ito. Kazuki's raised fist landed straight on top of my head. Evidently, she didn't want me to invite anyone. All right, that's it then. We'll meet in front of the statue at the statue of Hachi at noon on Sunday. Adios, gracias. Huh? Um, Arimura? Kazuki, bow. <laughs> Both Arimura and Kazuki had vanished before I had a chance to stop them. <clears throat> Sunday in front of the Hachi statue. I didn't really have any plans. I wanted to see if the, stu the sumo stickers were gone too, so I didn't mind going. But shopping? Just the two of us? It sounded like a date. A date? Maybe. They <laughs> were totally clueless. I love it. We have all these perverted thoughts. We're always thinking all these inappropriate things. And then, like, oh, how to, how to get a girl into your bed. All this shit from the cool cat press. And then a girl's kind of like, we should hang out, like, just alone. And we're like, what? Why? Weird. <laughs> anyway, like, fuck it. <sighs> and I want to be like, it's because he's a fucking high school boy and he's an idiot. But literally, I I identify with this so much. Because someone would do that. And they'd be like, I'm pretty sure he's he likes you. And I'd be like. We just went for coffee. What? That's actually how I ended up with my ex-husband. Like, we were talking at work. Because we had worked at the same place. And, you know, through work, we ended up having to talk about something. And it was just like, you seem like a cool person. We can hang out and have drinks. I wasn't thinking like, oh my god, I'm attracted to you. Maybe I'm just stupid and I don't know myself. I don't know. Like, and it was like, yeah, okay, cool. And so then one night it was like, yeah, we should go out and get drinks or whatever. So... I was going, we went to his house. I guess that should have been a flag, but I'm not smart here. Here's this, and you're all going to be like, idiot. So it was like, well, this way, you know, we can get pizza. We can have some drinks. He's got a guest room. I can stay up, right? My sister's like, have fun on your date. And I was like, it's not a fucking date. We're just hanging out as friends. And like, this way I don't have to drive home after drinking. It, you know, whatever. So we, st I like, Went over, we had pizza, we drank, I spent the weekend there, we were basically dating after that. So yeah, I guess it was a date. <laughs> like my sister was like, I told you, and I was like, I, what? I just assume that when people are inviting me out for shit that it's not a fucking date. <laughs> I am not a smart human being. I do not do well with social interactions. I don't get it. Like... There, I mean, literally, I mean, that was my early 20s, but, like, even later than that, like, there was, I might have been, like, seven years ago now, like, where in my meetup group with a bunch of friends, people would, like, you know, new people would join, some people would, like, leave, like, whatever, you know, there was the same constant people, but then there was new people in and out, but, like, this one time this guy came, and we were sitting there and I was like, I'm, and he was like super cute. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I am flirting with him. Like, 
pretty sure I am my and I literally at the one time told my a friend of mine at the time I was like I I actually was legitimately flirting I tried to do it and I did it on purpose and I think he was flirting back it was you'd think they'd be like are you a moron no I just don't get that shit because I have a, another person that I knew would be like oh you need to be more confident it has no way it's not that I'm not confident in myself sometimes I'm not we all have those problems okay but there are times where I feel good about myself. I'm totally fine. I just don't think my confidence only extends to me. I can look in the mirror and be like, fuck yeah, I look good. Oh. And I can walk out and I can feel good about myself. But I don't think that other people think the same things about me that I think about myself. You know what I mean? So I don't have the confidence that extends around me. I can look and be like, I look damn fine today. Woohoo! But I do not think that people are looking at me thinking I look damn fine. That's where the confidence stops. You know what I mean? If I'm talking to somebody, I'm not like, yeah, this guy thinks I'm hot. I don't think that. I don't think people see me the way I see me at all. I feel like people are like, yes, no, I am like a potato troll. Like, maybe my outfit looks nice, but they do not see an attractive person in front of them. I look in the mirror and I'm like, fuck yeah, I look good. But I feel like it's only me. Like, I see me good looking and other people are like, fuck are you, troll? And I know it's stupid because people have complimented me before. So I know it's not just me. I'm not crazy. But I just don't have that level of... My confidence doesn't extend to that where I think, like, everybody thinks I'm hot. It's still weird when people do. I'm like, what? Why? Huh? That's... What the hell is happening here? You know? And it does extend from always being self-conscious and thinking I was ugly and feeling like a freak and shit from being younger. So now when I'm older, I'm like, I feel good about me. No one else sees this though, right? Like, okay, it's whatever. It's a delusion, but it's fine. I'm okay. Like, so I don't think that people find me attractive and are flirting with me. <laughs> like, I, and I just, I also am not sure how to flirt back. People are like, okay, flirt back. How do you do that? I might do it subconsciously, but I can't like consciously do it. It's like, oh my god, I did it. Huh. Holy shit. I don't know, dude. I don't. Like, and it's, so I am dumb. I need a neon sign. So I identify with Takuru here, okay? Because some of us are just not good at this shit, no matter how old we get. No matter how many times through life we have gone. You know? And it's like, especially if you have never dated before. I have dated plenty. Still have no clue why. I'm like, really? People found me a drink? I don't... How? What? I, okay. Sure. I guess. All right. Like, still clueless. All right? And like, so I get it. This kid has never dated before. He's in high school. He doesn't know any of this shit. This is the, where you're like, how flirt? How do I? Uh, you're trying to figure yourself out and everybody else out. So when a girl's flirting with you and he's like, what? And also, she could totally just mean like, I just want to hang out as a friend because I don't like, I can talk to you and I can be relaxed around you. You don't lie to me. So, like, we can be best friends. She could totally mean it like that. And that's why I identify with him. Because he's like, we're just hanging out as friends, right? Wait, does she like me? Wait, we're just friends. I don't want to assume that she likes me if we're just friends. But, like, is she flirting with me? But, like, if she just wants to be friends and then I think she's flirting with me, then I ruin our friendship. But, like, if sh she's actually flirting with me and then I just assume we're friends, then I could potentially miss having a decent relationship with her. Like, and I just, huh? Yeah. No, I get it. I'm stressed out for him right now. Okay. <laughs> so I get it. Oh my God. I get it so much. Anyway, let's go on. Let's continue. Even after coming home, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And then that three hours later, you're like, I'm still. So that interaction we had two years ago. <laughs> Overthinker. I'd been practically forced into meeting with her on Sunday. I was going out shopping with a girl. Seen from the outside, would that be considered a date? <laughs> Literally everything I was just talking about. But if going shopping with a girl made it a date, then I'd been on plenty of dates with Serica and Caruso. But... But it's different, but it's not. That's the weird part. A date was supposed to be the kind of thing that Cool Cat Press wrote about. That was a little different than what I'd done with Serica and Caruso. When I went out with Caruso, we were always going grocery shopping and stuff. I was just there to hold the bags. You couldn't call that a date. Smart. 
And Sarah would just tag along whenever I wanted to go somewhere. You couldn't call that a date either. No, she's just following you like a puppy. What was the exact definition of a date anyway? Two members of the opposite sex meeting at a designated time, the dictionary said. Well, that could also be two members of the same sex, not really gay relationships, but I just mean a date. Like, <clears throat> oh, yep, it's a date. The casual kind of, like, literal definition, people meeting at a designated time. We are setting a date for a meeting, for, you know, whatever, for an event. You're setting a date. And then there's date, like, let's go on a date, like a romantic date. Same word, totally different meanings. And she could be like, yep, it's a date. Just throwing that out there, not meaning it's an actual date date. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, see? This is stressing me out. This is why I stay in my house. I don't talk to people and I don't date because it's very confusing and it's stressing me out and we're only playing a game. I'm kidding. I'm fine. It, but no. Just, but Anna, I'm, I'm like, see, no, it's, I am a little like, what the fuck? I'm confused and stressed now though. <laughs> like, but it is literally why I don't do these things because it's very confusing. Which meant that maybe all the things I'd done so far weren't dates and what I was doing Sunday was. But wait, I couldn't get too far ahead of myself. Even if I thought it was a date, if she didn't, I'd end up looking like a fool. <laughs> just... <sighs> this is literally everything I just said. Oh my god. But still, if Ari Marta did think it was a date, and I couldn't escort her properly, I'd still look stupid. Minamikata's column... Minamikata's column in Cool Cat Press always said that a man who couldn't make a woman happy was scum. Scum. I, I'm fine. I, I'm a normal. If it was a date, it'd be, it'd be good to be prepared. And if it turned out not to be, I could just change my plans. If I could just get all the know-how... How-to. Wow. If I could just get all the how-to knowledge crammed into my head... How to know when a girl is asking for it? No. Thank God. Please don't read that. All the techniques to make her moan. No. How to get your ideal body. No. No. Where was he? He always showed up when I didn't want him, but now that I needed him, he was nowhere to be seen. Ah, oh, there he is. Gen! Oh, Taku! Was there? You want a drink? No. Do you have a new issue of that thing? What thing? You know, the one I always buy. Cool cat. Oh, that. I'm not sure. If you do, I want it. By tomorrow. By tomorrow? That's not happening. Don't say that. Come on, I'll pay you. How many... You have a bazillion fucking of these... Ma piles, of, piles and piles of these magazines. One of them has to be, like, preparing for a date. Come on. October 18th, Sunday. The clock read three minutes to noon. I checked the time, took out a bottle of Mountain View, and took a big gulp. If I hurried, I could make it to the station in three minutes. So there was no need to panic. I cleared my head and opened up the March 1999 issue of Cool Cat Press that Gen had rushed out to find for me. Your first date, a real man's choices. How did you not already have this one? This was the article I'd been looking for. And it magically is in the one... Come on. Like, it, had, it had the know-how I needed for my first date. Over the last two days, I'd gone through this and every other issue of Cool Cat Press to prepare myself. I was now the most normal of normals. The ultimate normal, you could say. Which I think makes you a fucking weirdo, by the way. Like, I don't... And this is what my normal database was telling me. Arrive late. Not only would being late keep her in suspense, it would also heighten her excitement for the events that were about to occur. No, do not show up late. No, do not do that. Shit happens, and if you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I was a few minutes late, because, like, you know, there was a lot of trap, or I couldn't, I missed a light, like, whatever. I mean, that happens. You're like, oh, okay. But now, like, oh, like, 30 minutes late. Fuck you. Like, a couple minutes. That happens. No one's gonna, like, some people, like me, I'm always, like, fucking early. Uh, it'll only take me 10 minutes to get there, sitting there 30 minutes in advance. Yeah, well, <laughs> overplanned for traffic. Because being late gives me anxiety. I checked the time again, and it was noon exactly. Okay, let's go. I took the long way around Shibuya Station and headed for the statue of Hachi. And there she was. I remembered the phrases I'd read a thousand times last night as I got close to her. You run up to her, out of breath, and say, I'm sorry, did you wait long? And then she'll say, 
No, I just got here. Cool Cat Press, March 99 edition. Okay, here it goes. She's gonna know. She's gonna be like, did you get that from your stupid magazine? Yes. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you wait long? You're late. Huh? What are you thinking, Miyashiro? How can you keep a lady waiting? No, um... What if some guy came up to me and started hitting on me? Somebody almost did, you know. This didn't make sense. Cool Cat, what's going on? I turned around and glared at him, and he wandered off, but I was about to have a really uncomfortable time. I I'm sorry? Well, whatever. Just be careful in the future. Uh, okay, I understand. That one just didn't happen to work out. Next time it would work for sure. C come to think of it, those clothes are nice. Cool Cat dating tip number two. Praise her outfit. Every girl loves compliments. Her clothes, her hairstyle. It doesn't matter what. Just tell her it looks good. Okay, I can't. That's not totally wrong. Just compliment her on something. That does work. That is a legit tip. You know, you look nice today. Your hair looks pretty. Those are cute shoes. It, it works. Everybody likes compliments. It's nice to say that to men too, so. Huh? I've worn this outfit before though. Huh? Did you? Sheesh, that means you don't care about me at all. That's kind of a shock. Th that's not true. Oh, right, your hair. Did you cut your bangs? I did not. It failed again. What's going on, cool cat? All right, let's go. I've, it's so funny because, like, what girl says that? She knows he's trying too hard, and she is like... <laughs> she is playing mind games with this poor boy. Like... That, that's a nice outfit. I've worn this before. Like, if you're in a bad mood, you probably would say that. But, like, if a guy's like, that's a nice outfit. Oh, thanks. Like, you, <laughs> even your boyfriend isn't going to remember every fucking outfit you own. No one's going to know every outfit you own except for you. And even then you're like, shit, I forgot I had this. If you have enough clothes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't even know every fucking outfit I own. You find shit and you're like... Oh, or you think, I have this piece of clothing that I saw online I was going to buy, right? And you go digging and looking around, and you look through your order, and you're like, I never ordered it. Huh, really? I swear I did. Or you do the thing, sometimes you're like, oh, this is cute, yeah, and you buy it, and you're like, oh, I already own this. Yeah, I gotta stop. <laughs> like, that's, that's a me problem, though. That's a shopaholic addiction problem, so that's not normal. Or you accidentally put two of something in your cart and check out without checking and realizing and then you just bought two of the same skirt in the same size and you're like, huh. well, that's fun. Side story. Anyway, yeah, we can start with, huh? Pretty much it started walking before I could say a word. Hey, where are you going? We're going to buy a phone, right? Huh? Tikono? Dokono? Is yours a Dokono? Or a Do? HB? Either way, it's this way, right? Right, it's this one. HB, fictional, short for hard bump. A Japanese wireless phone company famous for their marketing strategies and ability to dominate the public discourse, as well as the white dog character in their commercials. Do, fictional, a Japanese wireless phone company. Their phones have been popular since before the days of smartphones for their unique designs and functionality. And they have many dedicated fans. Dokono. Fictional. A Japanese cellular phone company. They got their start with the pager business and are Japan's largest and oldest cellular carrier. Famous for their mushroom-shaped mascot. Cool. Or do you maybe use cheap SIM-free terminal? Then, SIM-free. At most, at, mo at most large cellular phone companies, I don't know why I couldn't read, a SIM, subscriber identity module, the module that links a certain phone number to a certain phone, is locked so that a single SIM can only be used with a single phone. A SIM-free phone, however, does not have this lock on it. Since a single SIM-free phone can be used with multiple SIMs and thus multiple phone numbers, it allows you, allows you to use your phone outside of your home country. Hmm. Oh, no, this way's right. I see. Let's go, then. Arnimura nodded and started walking again. Don't bite me, I'm just itching my head. That's right. I've been so focused on the word date that I'd forgotten why I originally come here. It didn't take too long at all to get to, the new, to get a new smartphone. Once I picked out the phone and re-registered my number, I was able to pull most of my old data f off the cloud. My photo was gone, but unfortunately, there was nothing I could do about that. Kurusu has it, and she could text it to you. 
Okay, I got you added. Now we can get in touch if something happens. The first thing I did once I got my new phone was to add Artie Murrah's number. And that was a date. <laughs> the problem was what to do now. I'd accomplished my goal for the day. But I couldn't just let uh, let all the know-how I'd build up. I'd built up on how to be a normal go to waste. Well, I can't read. First, I needed to confirm that she didn't have any other plans. Um, Artemura, so after this... So, what do we do now? Oh. Coffee? We've still got plenty of time left, right? It'd be a waste just to go home, wouldn't it? Th that's right. I if you don't mind, we could probably go somewhere after this. Artemura spoke up before I could finish. All right, what should we do? I'm getting a little hungry, so why don't we go eat somewhere? It's going to be fun when we do the positive ones. That's right. Sorry, bird. This was perfect. What, 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 what? What, buddy? Was it just the sound the TV made? You okay? What's the matter? You're acting all weird. You just pooped on little bird. I mean, he is an asshole, so whatever. He just, he got freaked out by something. It was when I moved this, so maybe it was just this. Anyway, I had my eyes on a couple of restaurants just in case this happened. Times like this, it was important to pick a place that a girl would like. That was what a normal boy had to be able to do. The problem was that there were too many good options to choose from. There was the time to consider, the location, and the weather and temperature. Cool Cat had insisted I take all of these into account. I needed to decide on someplace appropriate for a date. A normal is capable of making decisions when he needs to. Can you wait a second? I, I think there's another place around here. Um, yes, here it is. Oh, I'm sorry, we're very crowded right now. There's a two-hour wait. N no good. I've gone around to six places and had no luck in any of them. I was exhausted from walking and I could tell that Artemir's patience was reaching its limit. Forget it. Huh? I said forget it. Artemira? What's wrong with you? You keep making me walk around all these different places. I know you're not used to this, but still, think about what it's like for me. If she's got an attitude like this, you don't want to date her. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? A good person would be like, wow, every place is crowded. It's not your fault. But now she's blaming us. This is obviously our negative delusion, but it's kind of like, if this really happens, it's not the person you want to date. Wait, next time. There is no next time. I'm going home. Seriously? I'm done with this crap. You're never going to be able to pull off a date in your life, virgin. What? V v v virgin? Ernie Murray looked at me the same way you might look at a pile of garbage and left without looking back. I can feel the stares of the other people on the street. You're probably a virgin too, like, God, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're like freaking 16 slash 17. Get over yourself. Hey, she said he's a virgin. What? What? Did he screw up the date? Poor guy. Why don't you go date him? No way, no way, no way. Never. Gah. Poor boy. Damn it. The more I thought about it, the more upset I got. She didn't need to be like that just because all the restaurants were full. Exactly. How dare she call me a v... v... ver... You can't even say the word. The time is now midnight, October 19th, 2015. Welcome, everyone. This is Kay. Shibuya News had begun. It felt like it had been a long time since I'd heard Kay's voice. I still couldn't believe that this calm, quiet voice belonged to Kunisato. I am speaking to you tonight to tell you about a tragic incident that occurred in Shibuya yesterday. Incident? Was there a new murder? <laughs> I knew when we heard Kay coming on, I'm like, she gonna broadcast this date fail. <laughs> because this is our horror story right now. A little after 1 p.m. yesterday on the 18th in downtown Shibuya, a third-year student at Hakio Academy named Takuro Miyashiro failed to properly escort a lady. Huh? W what is she? And the cause is believed to be that Takuro Miyashiro is a virgin. The police are putting their full efforts into... What was she talking about? Was that really newsworthy? And did she have to use the internet to tell the whole world? Huh? Suddenly, I realized that there was a lot of noise coming from outside my room. It's so funny, because he's panicking over the fact that, like, oh my god, everyone's gonna know I'm a virgin. You know, like, half of your fucking school is too, right? At least, if not more. Like, 
Hold on. Suddenly there was a bright light. Oh my god, I hate spam calls. Go away, fucker. It was the light of a flashlight. Dozens of flashlights were illuminating my room. No, that wasn't it. There was a huge crowd outside the RV. They have fucking pitchforks and torches. Hey, is this the place? Hey, don't push. It's dangerous. But I can't see from here. Uh. <laughs> what was that? A rock? Hey, you're in there, right? Come out. Come on, get out here. Why? I just didn't pick the right place to go on my date. So why? Why? <laughs> An angry mom coming after us. That's stupid. That's impossible. Um, what kind of food do you want? There's plenty of places around here. Hmm, I'll let you choose. I see. I called up the map I had in my head. All right, let's go there. This place? Huh? I thought it was here. Where I thought I'd find an Italian restaurant with a delicious menu, I found a ramen place. And there was a big line, too. Ramen, huh? Well, I like ramen, but I don't know about this line. Y yeah. This didn't make sense. Oh, right. There's another place up here. Right up this way. Oh, no. We fu Oh! Currently remodeling. Ugh, didn't say that online. I started to get a bad feeling. My reputation as a right sider was in danger. Um. Wait, there's still more. I think I want to go to the place where we always go. You mean Lax? They got a monthly lunch special, right? I haven't had one for this month yet. I haven't had the one for this month yet. Mm, you folks, huh? Together today? Your usual spot is open. No, it's not. There's a dude sitting there. The waitress led us inside. Get out of my spot, dude. A mountain view, an orange juice, and two monthly lunch specials. Wait one moment. We ended up coming here, huh? You always feel safer going someplace you know, right? Y you're right. Are you feeling down? Down? Wh why would I be feeling down? Mm, because it didn't go like you planned? You tried complimenting me, walking on the side of the sidewalk facing the road, looking into popular restaurants. No, as a normal, I have all that memorized already. I didn't have to do any special research. So you did, huh? Uh, that's right. I was talking to Arnimura. There was no point in trying to lie. Well, I thought so. You were so different than usual. Come to think of it, Arnimura had said something similar before. Am I that easy to figure out? Incredibly easy. <laughs> but I like that. You don't have to try and make me feel better. Nobody wants to hear that they're easy to figure out. I'm not just trying to make you feel better. If anything else, it's great because I can relax when I'm around you. Huh? Does that mean... Oh, hey, lunch is here. Here, wait, here's what you ordered. Now eat. It looks good. Let's eat. Miyashiro, you're not going to eat? N no, I'm going to eat. How was I supposed to interpret what she just said? I kept thinking throughout the rest of lunch, but I never came up with an answer. And this would exactly what would I be like, what, what do you mean by that? Seriously, I need like a dictionary defined, a very clearly defined definition. What the fuck? God, I identify so hard with him right now. <laughs> ah, I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> How do I do this? What's happening? What do you mean? <sighs> oh God, it's so triggering. We've still got some time, right? Can we hang out a little more? Y yeah. Don't get so tense. We don't have to do anything special. We can just be natural. Natural. And this is exactly what you need in a person that you're dating. Someone who understands that you do not understand how anything works. And they're like, just calm down. Everything's fine. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I ended up walking around the city of Shibuya with Arnimura without doing a single item on my date plan. That's fine. You don't have to plan it out. Hey, this is kind of cute, isn't it? Was there any point in just wandering around with no plans or goals? I wasn't sure, but... What kind of clothes do you like, Miyashiro? My school uniform. I've never changed out of it. Ever. Haven't you noticed? Literally never in anything other than my school uniform. I have no other wardrobe. 
Have I ever even have we ever even been in anything else? It's all we wear. That's all anybody wears in this game. Hey, well, no, that's not true. You're wearing something slightly different. Everybody else has a casual outfit. I don't think I do. I think my casual outfit is my tie on top of my fucking shirt. <laughs> School uniforms. My wardrobe. Anyway. My ones that show a lot of skin. No, they're... Hmm? He's like, I mean, I wouldn't say no to that. Well, I don't dislike them. Thank you for your honesty. I mean, ones that show off a lot of skin. I mean, I don't think most people would complain about that. I was surprised that find to, I was surprised to find that part of me was enjoying it. Maybe that was just because there was no point in trying to pretend to be someone I wasn't around Arnie Mara. We're discovering things about ourselves. It's nice. Where should we go next? But it wasn't just that. Hey, Miyashiro, did you know on this street? Ah! Hey! Suddenly, Arnimura fell forward and almost tripped. I quickly grabbed her hand. Now we're holding hands. Phew, that was close. How could you trip over nothing like that? Sure you're not getting old? How rude! I'm younger than you are. But still, thank you. Y yeah. I felt a little awkward somehow and went to let go of her hand. Can we stay like this a while longer, maybe? She fake tripped so that we'd hold her hand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny. Fortunately, I still didn't have the courage to let go of her hand. Things started to feel awkward and embarrassing. This is actually cute. So, like, on their routes, we are actually kind of almost dating her. It's interesting. I didn't know if it was going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, But I'm going to, like, at least with her, possibly with Kazuki and uh, Kurusu, but I doubt with Yamazoe, because she's, like, 14 and looks 6. You know what I mean? So I don't think Yamazoe's route is a romancy route. But that's kind of what I thought. Like, okay, we've got, like, a bunch of routes. we got a bunch of girlfriends. Female friends. You know, that I'm like, okay, those will be, like, the routes. And it'll be, like, kind of sort of dating them. It's not like an Atome game or, well, whatever the reverse version of that is. I don't know. But you know what I mean? It's not like a game like that, but there were probably... I was expecting there to be like, okay, yeah, well, in their path... Like this, we're kind of dating Arnimura, or it kind of seems like that, maybe. Maybe we're getting interested. You know? While still doing this mystery shit. Um, but then it's like, there's certain characters, and you're like, okay, so we're not all the characters... It makes sense why we're not dating Onoe. And I guess Kunisada would never be able to get past us being a gigalomaniac to love us. Even though we like her abuse a little. But also, I kind of want her to get together with Ido because he likes the abuse. She likes to sling it. They're kind of perfect together. Um, but, like, we wouldn't be dating Yamazoe because that's really fucking weird. But, like, maybe that route would be more like, we're adopting her. She's our little sister. And, you know, I feel like that's more mystery route, you know. But anyway. Hey, look at those two. They're friends. I wish we could be like those two. I could hear people whispering as we passed them. Normally, I would have quickly moved away. But today, for some reason, it didn't bother me. It's kind of strange. W what is it? Normally, I always pretend to be someone I'm not, and so I don't really know who I am. Am I the person I am when I tell jokes with my friends? Or the person who gets mad when people tell me lies? Or the person I am when I'm smiling? Which of them is the real me? But when I'm with you, I feel like I can be the natural me. Maybe this is who I really am. Maybe you're a little bit of all of them. I suddenly realized that Arimura hadn't been overly energetic today or cold like she was when we first met. If this was who she really was, then maybe I could feel relaxed when I was around her too. Or falling in love, it's so cute. It was a different kind of peace than I felt with Seraka and Kurusu. Maybe it was just a kind of sympathy because we were both psychics. But part of me didn't think that was so bad. <laughs> Aww. All right, that's all for today. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. I had fun too. Arnie Murr and I had both seemed to forget that the whole point of this was just to get me a new smartphone. Okay, see you around. Y yeah, see ya. Arnie Murr smiled a little and disappeared into the Shibuya streets. She didn't say her usual goodbye, but that was probably because this was who she really was. 
I could still feel her warmth in my hand when I closed my fist. Oh. Hinai Arimura said her goodbye and walked a while before turning back. She could see K Takuru Miyashiro standing in the crowd. What she just told Takuru was how she really felt. Until now, whenever she'd been talking to a friend or to a boy, she'd always pretended to be someone she wasn't. It was the same with her uncle's family, who she was staying with. Her uncle and his wife were basically good people, but she knew that at times they felt sick of her. Sometimes other people's feelings could be like a knife in your heart. And when they were good people, that only made it worse when you found out they didn't really mean what they said. And I had been dealing with that for years. And now, for some reason, when she was with Takuru, she felt better. Of course, she hadn't felt that way when she'd met him at first. She hadn't liked him at all, in fact. I, I don't... He was a coward and a smart aleck. Yeah, don't blame you for that. That's true. Smart aleck is a really nice way of saying, like, a pompous douche, but... The first impression was probably right, but she could feel something delicate within him that went beyond all that, and that is not untrue either, right there. She might have seen a piece of herself in him. Because we definitely do have a nice, softer inside. You know what I mean? Like, we put on this pompous front, and we, I mean, coward, I guess a little bit. But I mean, you know, we've got this crunchy exterior that we show people that's kind of unlikable, but like... Under that is the insecurity, you know what I mean? And the need to be special when people keep telling us we're normal, but we really are special. We just didn't know it at the time. And, like, it's like we've... That insecurity and all those emotional issues are like, yeah, we'll just put on this crunchy, bitchy exterior and, like, whatever. I'm just, like, better than everyone's like, whatever. They're stupid. Like... Which makes us an asshole, but like underneath, we're actually kind of squishy and soft and a decent person. It's the crunchy douche exterior that we keep showing people. <laughs> like, like, makes us a little unlikable and we're not sure why we have friends. But, you know, once you get past that, we're not bad. He's not bad, but... Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.